we'll take the next question assalamu alaikum my name is shahid mushtaq from kashmir my question is is skull cap compulsory during prayers as far as covering the head is concerned it is a sunnah of our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him to cover our head and there are several ahadith of our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him authentic ahadith wherein it is mentioned that our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him whenever he went out he covered his head it is mentioned in sahih muslim that our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him he was delivering the khutbah during the conquest of makkah Our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he was delivering the khutbah that is the sermon during the conquest of Makkah and he was wearing a black turban. In another hadith it is mentioned, narrated by Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him radiallahu an, he said that the Prophet peace be upon him wore a white cap that is a kufia and the scholars they say that this narration it is a Hassan narration. And according to Imam Suyuti, he says that this narration, there are high chances that it is authentic. And this is mentioned in Siraj al-Munir, volume number 4, page number 112. And it is also mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, Anas radiallahu anhu says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, he covered his head. So several ahadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from which we understand that our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, he covered his head generally and whenever our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him went out he covered his head now coming to your question that is it compulsory to wear a skull cap during salah or is it compulsory to cover our head during salah it is not compulsory to cover our head during salah but it is a sunnah it is recommended that we cover our head during salah and also it is recommended that we generally cover our head and we find this in the Indian subcontinent. It is very common. Many people they think that wearing a skull cap during Salah, it is compulsory. And if you happen to go to the Indian mosques, to the Indian Masajid, previously this was very common. That in the Masajid, you will find a place that is designated wherein there is a shelf and caps are kept cane caps, caps of cloth and whenever a person is offering salah and if he has not covered his head or if he's not wearing a skull cap or if he's not wearing a white cap so a person will come from behind take the cap of the masjid and place it on his head because many people in India they think that it is compulsory to cover your head when you're offering salah a person he's sitting in the masjid with his head uncovered and he's reading the glorious Quran and a person will come from behind and place a cap on his head thinking that you have to cover your head when you're reading the glorious Quran there is no verse of the glorious Quran nor any authentic hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him wherein it is mentioned that it is compulsory to cover our head during the Salah or while we are reading the glorious Quran so it is very important we, that we have the correct understanding of our deen. And unfortunately, when many of the Muslims from India, when they go to the Gulf countries, for example, Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries, and when they return back to India, they stop wearing a cap or they stop covering their head when they enter the masjid and when they offer salah in the masjid. And the reason for this is, that when they go to the Gulf countries, they see that people, they do not cover their head. A few people, they do not cover their head. And the reason that people in the Gulf countries, they do not cover their head when they are offering Salah is because they know that it is not compulsory in Islam to cover their head when you are offering Salah. So certain people, they do not cover their head. Now when these Indians, when they go to Saudi or to other Gulf countries and when they come back to India, what they think is, oh, they have a lot of knowledge about Islam they have learned something new about Islam and they think that it is not required to wear a cap when you're offering salah and it is not part of the sunnah and that's the reason they stopped wearing a cap
previously before going to Saudi or to the Gulf countries, they would wear a cap regularly when they would offer Salah. But after coming back, they stopped wearing a cap when they're offering the Salah. Why? We should try to follow the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I'm aware that it is not compulsory to wear a cap when you're offering Salah. But it is a sunnah, it is recommended. So we should try to follow the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him.